Dr. Dragoslava Suntrak, please would you come up? Uh, Dr. Suntrak is the new managing editor of the Encyclopedia of Seventh-day Adventists. You've heard about this, of course, for a number of years, uh, reports on it at GC session and at last year's annual council, but we now have a new managing editor, and it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Dragoslava Suntrak to you. She represents, in a sense, the international nature of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. She was born in France. She is of Serbian nationality. Uh, she and her husband served the church in Serbia at the Southeast European Union headquarters. They then went as missionaries to uh, the University of the Southern Caribbean in Trinidad in IAD where they served uh, teaching in the theology faculty and more recently uh, her husband, Dr. Alexander Sandrak, is head of the School of Religion at Washington Adventist University in NAD. So four divisions represented uh, just in Dr. Sandrak, and I invite you to talk about the Encyclopedia of Seventh-day Adventists. Thank you very much for your introduction, Dr. Tim. Trim, um, good morning. Uh, please allow me to begin my report by sharing a personal testimony. My older daughter went to Adventist schools from kindergarten till she finished the middle school. She learned about Adventist church and its history from her parents, Adventist teachers, and the church family. But the first time she ventured to make a research on Adventist church on her own was last year in her freshman year in public high school for the school project that she hoped would impress her teacher and classmates. I immediately suggested some of my books. Like most of you here, my husband and I have a decent library. But how could I forget that Generation Z and most millennials go first to Dr. Google? My daughter was appalled at the amount of false and disparaging online information about our church. Confused and disheartened, she came to me and asked if I knew some reliable online resources that she could use for her project and recommend to her teacher and her class. After searching and searching, I found some online resources, but I can tell you nothing as comprehensive and as engaging as the new Encyclopedia of Seventh-day Adventist ESDA is going to be. That was the first time when I truly felt a need for a resource like ESDA online. And I really wished I had it last year to share with my daughter. I wonder how many Adventists of all ages are facing the same challenge, looking for authentic online resources to learn about our church and share with others. Leaders of God's church, church members, the new Encyclopedia of Seventh-day Adventists online is not a luxury, but an urgent necessity. It's been almost 25 years since the second revised edition of the SDA Encyclopedia, and more than half a century since the publication of the first edition. We are under, under obligation to the present and future generations to provide an updated and expanded a resource on Adventist church, its history and beliefs, and make this resource available where most people look for answers today, online. As the online will be the church's first online reference work. So here are the goals to have the ESDA online with at least 2,500 articles and accompanying photos, videos, and audio materials launched at the 2020 GC session, to continually update and expand the ESDA online, to publish the print edition after the first 8,000 articles are available online. Many things have been accomplished in the last three years since the beginning of the project, but we are facing some major challenges, of which the following two are the main ones. Finding qualified authors and peer reviewers, 
and meeting the article submission deadlines. We will start releasing the first ESDA articles online and in church publications early next year. We want all divisions and unions to be equally represented, and for this, we need your help. We have gathered this week at Battle Creek, the historical heritage site that is so important for our Adventist identity. Fortunately, the Adventist history did not end in the 19th century and with the first pioneers and missionaries. We know that God has led his people in your region in the past and until the present day. But honestly, tell me, how many people in your territory and globally have heard about your eminent missionaries, evangelists, educators, medical workers, and church leaders, and the records of how Adventist Church grew in your country? Please help us share your rich heritage with your local churches, the global church, and the world. This is how you can help us. Very soon you will hear about some uh, uh, upcoming projects from us to help incentivize submissions of articles like the ESDA writing contest and the ESDA promotional video. Please help us promote these initiatives and uh, acquire new submissions for, for ESDA. But your help is crucial. Please encourage article writing for leaders, ministers, and lay people in your territory. Promote ESDA in your travels and publications. Nobody can convey the power and beauty of your heritage better than your local authors. Invite your division editor to present at official meetings. Ask your school's administrators to create teams with teachers and students working on ESDA articles. Have students write short articles for course credit. Motivate professors to author and peer review articles. Last week, I spoke with the South American Division Regional Editor's Assistant in Brazil. He told me that his students testified that working on the ESDA articles had been the most enriching experience for them in a long time. Wouldn't it be wonderful to hear more testimonies like this from other schools as well? You can make this happen. Follow ESDA on Twitter at SDA Encyclopedia for the updates on published articles and other news. There are many biblical, theological, and historical resources published by other denominations that our church members can use and find useful. But who will produce an en encyclopedia of Seventh-day Adventists if not us? Correct. And if not now, then when? Please make as the one of your main priorities in the following two years. Together, we can achieve the goal to launch the ESDA online in 2020. Together, we can make ESDA speak God's truth and faithfulness to our children and this world until Jesus comes. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you so much.